In this chapter, we'll look at some of the most common ways of joining tables to create more expansive queries. SQL Server is a relational database management system. One of the key principles of a relational database is that data is stored across multiple tables. We'll need to be able to join tables together in order to extract the data we need. We use primary and foreign keys to join tables. A primary key is a column that is used to uniquely identify each row in a table. This uniqueness can be achieved by using a sequential integer as an identity column, or sometimes existing columns naturally contain unique values and they can be used. Here we can see the first few rows from the artist table. It has two columns, artist ID and name. The artist ID column acts as the primary key for this table. It is an integer column and each value is different. Now let's look at the album table. Can you spot the primary key? Yes, it's the album ID column. It's common for the primary key to be named table name underscore ID. But you'll have noticed there is also an artist ID column. That also consists of integers and has the same name as the artist ID column in the artist table. What does this mean? Well, the artist ID in the album table acts as a foreign key to the artist table. What this means is that when the artist ID in the album table matches the artist ID in the artist table, those rows can be linked using a join. Let's see how that looks. Rows 1 and 4 of the album table have an artist ID of 1. The artist ID 1 in the artist table is ACDC, so when we join the two tables together, we return the album details from the album table and the corresponding artist details from the artist table, joined using the artist ID field, which is common to both tables. We just saw the results of an inner join. We join the album and artist tables by matching the artist ID from the artist table to the artist ID in the album table. When selecting columns with the same name from different tables, you must fully qualify the column name. Otherwise, SQL Server will not know which table to select the column from. To fully qualify a column, you have to prefix it with the relevant table name followed by a period. Here's a generic example to remind you of the syntax. We select the relevant columns from the main table, table A in this case, then select any additional columns from the table we want to join to, which in this case is table B. Then we specify the join using the keywords inner join and on, providing the necessary key columns from both tables. In this example, we don't specify a WHERE clause, so we return all combinations of all matches between the artist and album tables, again, based on the artist ID column, which is common to both. You can join more than two tables using inner joins. You simply provide an additional inner join for each combination of tables. In our code above, we join tables A and B, and also B and C. We'll work through an example of joining three tables with our inner joins later in this chapter. Let's practice 